Welcome back, my frisky ponies. Ooh, ah. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a uh, comedy icon, a, a god of comedy, really. He created the hit uh, musical Spam a Lot, which is now at the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas. Take a look at this. That's entertainment. Please welcome Eric Idle, everybody. Eric Idle. See you. It's lovely to see you. Look lovely and summery and nice. Uh, and... Well, you spend your life, you know, in these studios. So yeah. uh, it's nice outside. I can tell. Look, it it's, is look lovely. how lovely it is out there. Yes. Can you see? It's lovely. <laughs> what a lovely evening it is out in Los it's Angeles. Beautiful. It is. It's very nice. Are you having a nice time with the spam lot up in Vegas? Or is it, uh... I don't, I don't, you don't strike me as a Vegas type. Well, actually, when you're purple, sure, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you are. Be very careful. Um, I, I actually like Vegas, but I'm very cheap. I don't spend anything in slot machines or gambling. So, uh, well, what else? well, there's, uh, I guess, there's, there's just the girls. The, yeah, prostitutes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I use credit cards for that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happens in Vegas apparently stays in Vegas. <laughs> You'd think, but apparently <laughs> rashes seem to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it to Chris Albright. Yeah, yeah, by the way. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I have fun in Vegas because it's like it's just like putting on a regular show. You know, it is like putting on a regular show. And uh, I was there the other night, and they, we've got this, we've got this new theatre they built for us. They built a theatre. They built this. Win has built God, this huge theatre. Love Vegas for that. It's very beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. and lovely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> they were they were on there, and there's there's a moment when the Lady of the Lake's supposed to come up, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. And they're going, and here she is. <laughs> And nothing happens. And you can hear her singing in the basement. Oh, I've got you. And all the girls going, ooh, 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 ooh. And nothing, absolutely nothing happens. And the guys are going like this. And one of the guys, uh, Sir Galahad, says, Well, I'm off then. <laughs> He master of the ad -lib. Master of the ad -lib leaves yeah, yeah. the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the audience is left kind of uncomfortable, wondering yeah. what the hell's going on. It's a look that I see often in the audience's ear, actually. <laughs> and like kind of... So I, did you, I, is it the same? Because I saw so the show in the show. So I ran down on oh, stage. Right, oh, right, right, right. I ran from the audience and ran down on stage. Oh, that's And nice. then sort of did some stand-up for about ten minutes. Did you really? Yes, absolutely. That's worth the price did. of admission. They well, must have loved it. Well, they laughed, kind of. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Because this brand-new modern theatre they built, right. they forgot to build a staircase from downstairs to above. No. So the only way... They did, absolutely did. So the only way they could come was up through the elevator on the stage. If that wasn't working, they were screwed. You can't, you can't get they up were, They were already down the basement going, oh! I think I'd quite like to see it, though, because I, I, I saw the like show it? in New York, Yeah, and it, there was an intermission. You can't have an intermission in Vegas. Did you change the show? I, well, we can't have an intermission in Vegas because they want to get them straight back to the slot machines. Yeah, and if they leave, they won't come back. They won't come back. Yeah, no matter how good your show is, it's like, must gamble, must gamble. <laughs> also, because when they hit the airport, they start drinking. Yes. You may not have noticed that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but they have these drinks about this big, and they're all wandering around Vegas. Know, what like, the hell is <laughs> I mean, during our show, they're still doing that, you know, I mean, half the time. So. Do you know what I noticed the last time I was there? That you know, when people go up and down the strip in Las Vegas now, they don't like to walk, so they rent. You can rent those little rascals. You know, the, the little rascal kind of scooter. Yeah. And you just go up and you, know, like, you get your drink and the rascal and go... <laughs> uh, up and down. You can rent yourself a little rascal. Or a big rascal, if that's what you want later on. <laughs> I, now, how long have you been in America now? It's a long time, isn't it? About uh, 15 years, I guess. 15 yeah, years, like yeah. That, yeah. I wanted to take you to get your citizenship, because it's taken me forever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a citizen of Ozark. I understand. But yeah. Well, I think you're, you're, you're a slam dunk for Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk to Wynn tomorrow. Oh, you're, you're in. No way. He's yeah, very no, powerful, he'll put isn't you, he? Yeah, you'll yeah. be on the strip, honorary membership. Oh, I've been you. on the strip before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get up with my wee rascal. <laughs> Looking for a big rascal. <laughs> we, have, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Eric Idle, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Eric Idle, uh, formerly of the uh, Monty Python comedy performing troupe. 
Uh, kind of the. Uh, yeah, did you like that? Yeah, I like yeah, that. The, the Monty you Python. You didn't know where you were going, did you? No, I didn't. I just, <laughs> my, my rule is to just keep talking. Eventually, something funny will happen. Um, what about the, the Pythons? Were the uh, kind of the Beatles of comedy? I think weren't they? They were the kind of. Do, do you still get that reverence? That kind of. Yes, I mean, up to a point, there's probably more of us alive still. Yeah, well, you know, there was more of you to start out with. Yeah, so, you right. know, the percentage is about... The stones, perhaps, I don't know. Yeah, the Rolling Stones yeah. are... They're still alive, look at them. Yeah, well... On the second bodies, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, alive is very, a very loose <laughs> term. <laughs> Yeah. It's very kind of... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, now, you, you, you came over... You, the Pythons haven't actually worked together in, in a very long time, have they? I think the last time we were together was Aspen. We, we, we did the comedy festival. Oh, when Eddie and, did uh, that thing. Eddie Izzo came on. That thing. Yeah, yeah, on. Yeah. Do, you like the, do you like the young comics? Do you like Eddie? And, well, Eddie's I not love, that young anymore, he's, is No, he? he's an old man now. Yeah, he's a yeah. old codger. Yeah. He's as old as the Rolling Stones, Eddie. Older, old. I would yeah, think. Yeah, probably. Uh, but I like the Mighty Boosh. There are some people coming from England. If you, you haven't seen those, the uh, Mighty Boosh. Mighty no. Boosh. Mighty Boosh. Boosh. Yeah, yeah they're very that. funny. There's a lot of good. Uh, Have comedians. you seen uh, Little Britain? Yes, I went that? to see them live actually really? in Hammersmith. Yes, they're very funny. Disgusting. Yeah. Yes. Yes, funny. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Python One... was just clean, clean, <laughs> clean the whole time. One of the guys came off stage, ran into me. I was sitting in the audience. He came, put his ass in my face live and during the show. <laughs> That's kind, you know, yeah. recognizing you. you. Thank you, you so get, much. You can get that in Vegas. Are you getting yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you rascal. That's what they call a rascal in Vegas, is a guy just coming up and putting his ass. Anyway, never mind. So, you like the young comedy coming out. And you, do you live in Los Angeles? Do you stay, I do, yes, you live I here? do. You prefer the East Coast or the West Coast? What do you think in America? Oh, I love the West Coast. Really? Yes. You're a Californian. Oh, you're absolutely. Kind of, yeah. I love California. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Have you, have you embraced the lifestyle, do you think, have you become... I love it because I like the dress code. Right. You can wear... It is sneakers with everything, you know what I mean? It's fantastic. Yeah, you know, it's true, yeah. I, I don't get to... I, they won't let me wear sneakers. They won't? Not doing on this the show? show. No, no, no. Are you wearing shoes? Yeah, I wear proper shoes. Oh, look at the size of those babies, by the way. They've probably the way. never been yeah. on before. Yeah, no, look, I have to wear proper shoes. And this is Bob Barker's old suit. I have to wear... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very nice. Do you a big driver? Do you drive around? I, I, I drive about 3,000 miles a year. But my How wife has a new that? car. Well, because I stay home a lot. I'm a writer. I stay right, home. Right, but right. my wife has just got a new car right. because she's gone very green. So she's bought a hybrid. So, you know, to save the environment, she bought a very expensive Japanese vehicle. Right. <laughs> and uh, the other day, she's driving it, and it's, the thing came up on the dashboard. It said, stop. Do not proceed any further. Take this car, have it towed immediately to the dealership. Wow, that's a big dashboard. Huge yeah, dashboard, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was actually... Yeah, yeah. It was this way, because it... No, it was scrolled ah. in Japanese. <laughs> the Wait a minute, it's, the news is still <laughs> yeah. coming in from the dashboard. <laughs> anyway, she got into the garage and they said, Oh my God, you, thank God you didn't drive because we found out what's wrong with it. There's a rat's nest in the engine. Stop! Oh, really? A real rat's nest in the engine. They love Lexuses. <laughs> Apparently they do, because they love the smell of new leather, and they love <laughs> eating wire. And they'd eaten the wire up all through the safety systems. Wow. In the, inside. Yeah, they're having this lifestyle, you know, hey. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I thought this is very good for the environment. If we can encourage small mammals to actually live inside engines. Yes, yes. They could fart methane, and we could run it for nothing, you know what I mean? A lot of power in a rat farm. Well, work up, you know to, I mean? work up to a badger. Yeah, yeah a badger or, some, or one yeah, of your larger... Small goats. Small goats. Yeah. You get a cow in a there. A cow in there, you're home and dry. NASCAR! NASCAR! Yes. It'd be the moo sound as they go back. Ed, you could overtake Ed Begley. You could go straight fantastic. past him saying, yeah. What a fantastic idea. Thank Fart you. Fart-powering cars. <laughs> the cowmobile. You, do you, but you don't drive a hybrid thing, do you? Do you I, like I, I drive American a car. proper American yeah, yeah. gas car. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But well, we've called out the Ratmobile now. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so what, did you have to go and pick her up in a big kind of... Oh, I don't do that. No, you don't no. drive? No, no, no. I don't understand how you can live in L.A. and not, and not drive very I much. I stay home. Wow. A lot. I like it at home. Really? Yeah, I'm a writer, so I stay home and... Stay home and write? And sit in the garden and, you know... Oh, that's nice. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. It is, it's nice. I'd rather love that. It is kind of sweet. And can about I come five over and sit in the garden or something? Yeah, absolutely you can, lovely. yes. That would be nice. Just have some tea, sit in the garden. A cup of tea? Gentle farting. <laughs> <laughs> for the environment. Yeah, of course. For the environment. Of course. Eric, thank you for coming. My I, pleasure. I wish we had more time. I, always, I love talking to you. It's great to see you. Eric Idol, everybody. We'll be right back.
My first guest tonight is a giant comedian. Well, he's a regular size, but I mean, he is, uh, he's, uh, he is as a god to me. That's all I'm saying. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's got spam a lot at the Amazon Theatre in Los Angeles, July 7th to September 6th. Please welcome the wonder that is Eric Idle, everybody. I just had this great idea, Eric. I had a great idea. That, see what you think. I don't have a band, as you've noticed. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but I thought, when a guest such as yourself comes out, I'll sing a kind of a song so that everybody's very So I'll go, Eric, it's Eric Idle. People think he's really great. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a <laughs> idea. All right. <laughs> English I told you about the English and cussing, didn't it, it's I? It's not going to work. And by the way, I'm so impressed with you going to entertain overseas. I think it's a really great thing to do, to entertain. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. And, uh, so I, I'm going to take a leaf out of your book and I've decided to apply for Scottish citizenship. <laughs> because I like kilts and I can grow my knees hairy and everything. <laughs> yeah, can you grow them like this, though? Look at this. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. To be fair, <laughs> those are very pale, flaccid, yeah, yeah, yeah. little, little <laughs> Jimmy limbs, aren't they? Really? Oh, hey. <laughs> these, uh, the I had these neared after I became an. Yeah. No, after I became an American, I had to have them neared. Neared. Yes. And that's this is them growing back since my uh, citizenship application. It's, I think you shaved them to see Bruno, didn't I you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, how are you, Eric? Have you got the spam well. along coming yes, out? Yes, it's the... here. Come back home to L.A., which I'm very happy. No, it's, fanta it's a fantastic show. I saw it in New York. Do you oh. know who was in it? Hank Azaria was in it. Well, Did you know? he's a very funny man. We have some very funny men in it here, too, yeah? whose names I instantly forget. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they're... they're, they're why men. bother having a why name when you're that bother. funny? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a puppet there. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. I do. Do you want this, this one? Did you notice? Why are there no young English sheepdogs? Who there are only old yeah. English sheepdogs, aren't there? There are no young English sheepdogs. How did he get to be old? I'm 28, you bastard. <laughs> You've got a great, you got a great English accent. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I, but what part of England are you from, then? I'm from the North East. Oh, that's I'm a terrible. Geordie. We don't have a yeah. Geordie accent at all. I, I don't. Why? Why? I normally don't understand a thing of your talking a Geordie accent. Why? Oh, okay. right? Absolutely you know? true. Absolutely and true. The thing about the Geordies is we're stuck between the English and the Scots. Yes. So we were raped from both directions. Every guy on the road. Now, what, Spamalot's coming back. What else you got going on, Anthony? Uh, well, what about the Python reunion? Is that happening? The Python reunion is maybe happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it is the 40th anniversary of Monty Python this year. What? You're kidding me. Really? Yeah. And, uh... We're, we're, we're calling it our Ruby Jubilee. Ruby Jubilee. And we're, we're putting on Not the Messiah at the Royal Albert Hall in October. Seats went on sale today. Really? And both of them sold. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we got, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, All right. we, got, we got the BBC Symphony Orchestra and Palin's going to come and he's going to wear, he's going to introduce it as Mrs. Mrs. Betty Parkinson. He's going to come into drag for it. Oh, uh, Michael, Michael Palin, Palin, not Sarah Palin. Not Sarah, see, well, no, I, I, see. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, though. Yeah. Wait a minute. That would She's be, not busy be, now, is she? No. And that would be a fabulous twist. Absolutely. Yes. The Palin sisters. Together Michael Palin, again. Sarah Palin. Yes. And she could do travel journeys. And, and he, he, he could govern Alaska badly. <laughs> I don't know if they're well. And, but they might. They might. Yeah. He does all those travel he's, shows. He's seen Russia. From his house? <laughs> exactly. He can see it from his house and that would be fantastic. I like that. Yeah. 
So Terry Jones is coming, Terry Gilliam's coming, Neil Innes is coming, Carol Cleveland. So we're all going to get together at the Albert Hall. The wait big... a minute, wait a minute, there's somebody missing. Um, the please, tool, yeah, please. Him. I forgot to ask him. No, he may be busy. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, that's what I'm he said. I'm calling you out, please. <laughs> I have a big, uh, yes. Yeah. And um, we have a Scottish regiment of pipers coming on. Do you The really? Royal Scots are going to come and play too at the Albert Hall, so it's going to be fine. And here, for ten days only, mm. we're going to have Hank Azaria yeah. and Jane Leaves and a lot, some other funny people, Alan Tudyk, Jim Piddock and Rick Holmes, and we're going to do an evening without Monty Python. I... That went, sold a lot of tickets. Yeah. Right there. They went, <laughs> yes! That's what we want. Yeah, that's... But we're gonna, they're going to do Python sketches and the, the, the Mark Now, you've got to be very careful with that, because every time you go to a party, there's always some drunk douchebag doing the parrot <laughs> sketch. Yeah, but yeah. that's John Cleese. That's John Cleese, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we have to take a break. We're we'll back with Eric Idle, everybody. We're we'll right back. Yes, I'm sir. here with Eric Idle, who's wearing a very attractive jacket. I don't know if you can quite... Wow. I wish you hadn't done that. You can cut it out. I can cut it out, yeah. We can't, Eric. It's live. It is? Yeah. Oh, OK. It's live. <laughs> Listen, the way you walked up and down there, uh, you know, and that kind of swish you have, is that why you get involved in musical theatre? I got involved in musical theatre because of the nude women. There are nude women in musical theatre? I think I've been going to the wrong one. Back backstage there are nude women. Ah. Lots of them. They're very nice. The showgirls are fantastic. I mean, you go to the first rehearsal and there are girls, beautiful girls, and they're stretching and bending and they're, they're wearing those things. What are they called? Uh, Pants. <laughs> leopards. Leopards? Leotards. Leotards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't want a girl bending over leopards. <laughs> well, actually, I've got a couple of photographs. Of, yeah. <laughs> There's a website. <laughs> Girlsbendingoverleopards.com. It's awesome. <laughs> you brought them back from Germany, yeah. didn't you? In your pocket. That's right. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I, what I like about it is that I've got access to all these girls' dressing rooms around America when we do this show. It's really nice. I knock on the door and I say, are you naked yet? <laughs> and they say, come on in, Eric. You know. And, and once I was in Australia and I knocked on the door as usual and said, are you naked yet? And they said, come on in, Eric. And I walked in and there were three of them stark naked. <laughs> Absolutely right in front of me. And I became very British and very Prince Charles. <laughs> and I, I went and said, how do you do? Have a very good show. <laughs> <laughs> and they went down and it's like, do not look down. Do not look down. Do not go, oh my God, oh my God. And I came outside and I said to my wife, when I die... Your wife was there? I said to my wife, when I die, I want to be buried in the girls' dressing room in Melbourne. And she said, you're gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime in the next five minutes. Yeah. She's a very understanding woman, your wife. Well, I've been with her 33 years. She That's knows, fantastic. She knows, well, yeah, wow. Well, she's, uh... She's rather fabulous, you know. Yeah, she's she, fabulous. She certainly seems to be a patient woman. Well, she, <laughs> looking is free. Yeah. You, you, I see. I don't. I even look. This thing starts to go off. <laughs> Electric oh, shock. No, no, no. Yeah, You've yeah. got to admire beautiful women. You have to do that. Why do they go to all that trouble if you're not going to admire them? It's for other women. It is. It You've is. been watching it, the wrong television no, no, channels. No, no. no, it's for other women so that they can go, oh, that, look, she's got those shoes, I've got them. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of thing they and, do. And how, how does that explain Victoria's Secret? That's just the greatest thing that ever happened. <laughs> what is Victoria's Secret? The is secret it? is that she's a slut. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Eric. I don't know. I think the word gregarious is kinder. It is. It is. It is. You got your guitar there, then? I What's have. going on? 
I have. Well, I was thinking uh, I could do a little number. Yes, yes, yeah. that'd be nice. Well, um... I, I so you always like to, to play the guitar when you're here. I noticed that, and you've got your rock star jacket on. Well, this is a... It's just a little jacket. It's a cool jacket. You That's know? what I'd say. Yeah. Rock star jacket is well, good. This is a this is a song. I, everybody is feeling a bit grievy at the moment, so I thought, you know, everybody's full sort of full of grief, deaths around. So I thought, let's do a cheery uppy little number. And here's this little, little song I actually wrote when Graham Chapman was dying uh -huh. twenty years ago. Yes. And I finished it when George Harrison died about eight years ago. Uh -huh. And it's a little. I feel better already. Okay. Eric. Thanks very much. If I can't bring the show down, nobody can. Right, okay. All right. Then what you got? You like it already? I do, actually, yeah. Life will get you in the end <laughs> On this one thing you can depend When you're on the bridge of death Don't hold your final breath Cos life will get you in the end <laughs> A life lovely. can drive you round the bend You think it's never gonna end then somebody comes along and reminds you in a song That life will get you in the end <laughs> Rattling round the universe As a human being, while it could be worse <laughs> Life's a gift, it's not a curse So live, go, blimey And life will get you in the end and so farewell to you, my friend. One final thing to try is bend and kiss your ass goodbye. Because <laughs> life will get you in the end. In the end. Cheered me right up already. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely legend that is Eric Idle, everybody. Eric Idle. Cheered me right up. I'm when very I saw happy. That. It's supposed to cheer you up. Not it's the Messiah. Cheering. He's a very naughty boy. Was this a, an evening in London or something? It, it was a. We, it's an oratorio we did with 240 musicians. The BBC it looks fantastic. It's it very huge. Yeah. Very very big. And we. Uh, I persuaded some of the other pa uh, pythons to come along. Michael Palin came. Sarah Palin's... Um, uh, well, he came in full drag. He, he dressed he as Sarah dressed Palin? in full drag and he said he claimed to be the mother of a little known governor of Alaska. Nice. <laughs> So let's nail that. You know, Terry right. Jones was there, Gilliam. You know, we, we just this very silly evening. And what does uh, or, oratorio mean? An oratorio. Right, oratorio. Is, is a sung work. It's like a play, but done in a concert hall. So the Messiah is a sung work right. by Handel, and right. this is not the Messiah. Right. <laughs> but it's also sung, a lot of singing. What, like cats, but without the costumes? Without the cats, really. Right, yeah. <laughs> You probably don't want cats in it. They, Not do you know in the, the Albert Hall. Do you know? No, they they had they had cats in the Albert Hall once. It's the show or the real one? Real a real cat. I think a real cat got in once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you're going somewhere? No, no. Oh, I God. just I, I was just remembering oh, that, uh, that a cat <laughs> once turned up at the Albert Hall because it huge, was a Scottish night because they was, weren't even wearing anything underneath the kilt. So no, it was a that's disaster. Right. And that's when you want to see a nice, comfortable cat. <laughs> I'm happy to see uh -oh. anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> so, I got nothing. By no. the way, these are sneakers. Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah look. Those look, are, you know. Do you know we, that? We could have a sneaker in. I mean, we can vote for people on Twitter. We're, you've got huge feet. Yeah, look at you. That, you want, I said you want to see my penis. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, well, or maybe actually, you don't. Actually, I don't. No, no, right, right, thank yeah. you for Thank well, you for take offering. my word for it. That's <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, I, I will. But right. okay, so you did this, and have you ever performed this in, in America? Yeah, we did it at the Hollywood Bowl a couple of years ago. Oh right. Um, a lot of people when they go to the Hollywood Bowl, I see when I go there, they smoke the uh, marijuana cigarettes. I've noticed that. Really? Yeah. That's just the audience. Yeah, it's the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's picnic. You know, they, you can right. go. It's a lovely place to sit. You have a picnic and you know wine. I've always often had a quite too much to drink there. Really? Oh, quite a few times. 
times, yes. How and that's just when I'm st on stage myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice there. They have fireworks there during uh, the but summer. We did it with fireworks. We did two nights running. We yeah. had like uh, 19,000 people and we did, we did, John wrote some fireworks music especially for it. So we did the Galaxy song to fireworks. Oh, that would be nice. And it was rather beautiful. Yeah, why, why didn't I uh, get invited? Uh, you're probably on hiatus, you call it, don't you? No, we don't have hiatus Or is it there. probation? No, no. <laughs> Might have been probation, but they. But we, there's no hiatus. There's no seasonal thing I in late night. you were off night. last week. No. What? Well, no. No hiatus. <laughs> no. They were encore performances. Oh. Of, they're what we call in TV oratoria, and what we do is, <laughs> it's shows that have been proven popular before, so we showed them again. And you do the same words. Uh, yeah, I come out and do the same show again, basically uh -huh. with the same guests wearing the same outfit. Excellent. <laughs> like if you go and see a play and then you go back the next night, it's the same play. I, I always think that's a waste of money going to see a play twice. <laughs> hey, um, I haven't seen you since uh, Stephen Fry's party. We went to a party and you were there with your lovely wife. Do I remember? was there and you were there with your lovely yeah, wife. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I and mean, then we swapped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mind that. It's just you gave us your kid. Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing fine. Good, good. We're teaching him Scottish. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, I, I just scared myself there with that. Now it's, do you know what? I blame my sneakers. I feel like, do you think clothes make you behave irresponsibly, certain clothes? Because that's a very loud shirt. It is? It's yeah. a Paul Smith shirt. It's rather cool. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. It's a cool, cool shirt. Cool and I meant loud. To say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it in London. I was just in London. Really? Yeah. How was that? Do you, they have a rabbit in London, apparently, which swears very, very much. <laughs> On TV? Yeah, he's a cussing mm. rabbit from North London called Sid. We I owe everything to the pythons, you know that, right? <laughs> well, we have a killer rabbit, obviously. Yes, yeah, the killer, yeah, yeah, rabbit, killer, killer rabbit, you have to yeah. ask the three questions. That was in uh, Holy Grail, wasn't it? It was indeed, and Spamalot, as we still remember. Oh, yeah. Now, is Spamalot on tour right now, then? It's coming on tour in, us, in the States, yeah. Right. Is, so it, coming, is it coming here? Uh, yes. Will I get uh, a ticket for it then? You'll get one ticket. If I go and buy it <laughs> yeah, using no, we money. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we would send you a ticket. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it in New York, you know, it was very good. Yeah. You probably made a bit of money out of that. We made a bob or two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Well, it, was, it was very nice, yeah. yeah. You buy yourself a fancy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy more expensive friends now. I'm very right, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. It in LA, really is, you know, I yeah. think, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Stephen Fry's gone back to England. He's not here anymore. Well, he was writing his autobiography. Another one? Yeah, so he had to go back and do a bit more living. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. And then he'll come back and write about it That's in Hollywood. That's very you know I mean? clever, yeah. yeah. Live a bit, write a bit, yeah. live a bit, write a bit. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I'm going to do that. Yeah? In your well, diary? You can't really call this living. I'm going to have to go and do something else. <laughs> Would you ever have a talk show? No. Why not? Um, because you have to be on every day. I know. <laughs> well, no, you can put on oratorios sometimes. <laughs> Once a year. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And we yeah. had a band, we had a pipe band in that too. We had a royal pipe band come on for the, in the oratorio. What, what, what's a royal pipe band then? Well, they uh, from one of the jocks from the royal regiments, you know All what right. I mean. Well, jocks in America mean athletes, though. Yeah. Ah. Um, well, in it's England... A, it's a slightly derogatory term for Scottish people in England, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's rhyming slang. Sweaty socks, jocks. You know, it's, it means Scottish people. Sweaty socks, jocks with giant <laughs> feet. <laughs> or yeah. Doctor Spocks, you could call them. You Doctor know. Spocks. Yeah. Doctor, wasn't Doctor Spocks what? the man that uh, invented heart surgery or something? Or was that? No, he did something about babies. Yeah. Babies. That was Mister Spock. No, Mr. Spock didn't, he was on Star Trek, and Dr. Spock <laughs> replaced... But Mr. Uh, Spock was the gynecologist on Star Trek, wasn't he? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Dr. Spock replaced uh, uh, babies with, no, hearts with babies. He would take people's hearts out and put a live baby inside them. <laughs> Which really uh, didn't work at all. No. Uh, that was Dr. Barnard. That doctor, no, that was the island of Dr. Moreau, wasn't it? Uh, all right, all right. The, the island of Dr. Moreau, that's where he turned... Uh, People into animals. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah, but that, that's, I never, I always had a problem with that. Yeah? Yeah. Boring? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Have you ever uh, changed anyone into an animal? Uh, I, turn, I change my wife now and again into an uh, animal. It, <laughs> It, it's usually when I say, you can go shopping, love. 
<laughs> that really gets her going. By the way, my wife, I know you have a, a cell phone which has vibrate. Yes, yes I do. But my wife has a vibrator you can switch to phone. <laughs> That must be uh, embarrassing if you forget to switch over at the wrong moment. Well, it means you can take calls when, you know, certain, you know. <laughs> you don't miss that vital call, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Saying the shopping's in now. Where are you? Am I on speaker? <laughs> uh, the, uh... <laughs> I scared myself again, oh. yeah, I scared myself. That's what the 4G stands for, you yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Now, Eric, oh. yeah, it looks like the Messiah's not only a very naughty boy, uh, Eric Idle, a very naughty boy. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Uh, My first guest tonight is a comedy legend. He's got a new stage show, What About Dick? <laughs> Wait. At the Orpheum Theatre, April the 26th to the 29th. There's tickets are on sale now. Please welcome the great Eric Idle, everybody. You don't want him getting too above himself. <laughs> Hello, Eric. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you look well. You look nice. You look wealthy. <laughs> well, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's terrific. I like seeing people I like yeah. having lots of money. Do you have a boat? A boat? <laughs> yeah, a boat. No, no, I have a punt. <laughs> I got nothing. No. <laughs> what about this? This is a DVD. Oh, yeah, they're just re-releasing the Holy Grail again. You know, right. forget about that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, what about Dick, then? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I've got time. Yeah. <laughs> That's not encouraged yeah. here. That's not encouraged here. The, um... What's it? Is it a musical? It's, it is. It's a play with songs, actually, oh, more right, than right, that. No, but it is. It's a, there's a slight difference. I mean, it's a play I've been writing for many, many years. Right. And it stars Russell Brand. I know Russell. Yes. He plays uh, an Oxford undergraduate who's not sure whether he's studying psychology or gynecology. <laughs> And it's the, that's Russell. Yes, that's yeah. very much Russell. It's the rubber gloves that confuse him. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, it, it has Eddie Izzard. I know Eddie. It's you know Eddie Izzard. Um, he, what is Eddie doing? Eddie is playing a character called Deepak Rushdi Obi Ben Kingsley. <laughs> and he's from he's a, he's from Shaga, Shagistan is where he's from. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Billy Connolly is in it too. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that familiar with that yeah. gentleman? Yeah. He, he, he plays an, an inspector. Does uh, he play Scottish, a, does he, Scottish, Scottish inspector? Scottish, and he sings a song called The Lonely Trout. Right. Well, hold on a second. He, he's a Scottish inspector. Now, does that mean he expects people for how Scottish they are? <laughs> yes, very much. I so. just have to see how very Scottish <laughs> you are. How cautious with money are you? What, what is worn under the kilt? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, well, uh, nothing. It's all in perfect working order. Thank yeah. you very much. Ching. Do you know the other one? No. Uh, what does a Scotsman wear under his kilt? I On don't... a good day, lipstick. You never heard that <laughs> one? Oh, oh dear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also have Tracy Ullman. Oh, yes. Yes, and uh, she plays a, a, a Cockney lady called Enid. Right. Who is an ass reader. <laughs> Talk me uh, through that. Uh, she's an astrologer. Right. And she predicts the future by reading the wrinkles on your tush. I wish I had seen her last Friday night, I tell you. <laughs> and I've got Jane Leaves. Oh, playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. She plays Emma Thompson. <laughs> uh, and uh, Sophie, uh, Sophie Winkleman plays Helena Bonham Carter. All right. And, and Jim, Jim Piddock plays the working classes. <laughs> all of them. I've worked with Jim Piddock before. He's very funny. He's very funny. Yes, he's English, is. you know. Is that all right? All the cast are English. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, Billy's not. Billy Scott. Yeah, Billy Scott. Yes, yes. Yeah. At least he was the last time I inspected him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you in it then? Are you? Yes, I'm in it. I I I play I play the piano. <laughs> Which is the lead character who tells the story. It's the, it's the first play ever narrated by a piece of furniture. I'm sure we'll get emails telling us that that's not true. Because, yeah. yes, somebody once played the bagpipes as Macbeth. Right. <laughs> Don't say... Why did you have to say it? Why? <laughs> it's only a theatrical. We're not in a theatre. No, we're, we're not technically in a television studio, are right? <laughs> I'd like to try and observe the niceties, though. Yeah. Have you been? I haven't seen you for ages. Have you been back over in Blighty or something? No, no, I've been here. You've been working? I've been writing, yeah, I write yeah. away. I don't, I don't come out much. <laughs> well, when you do come out... I uh... bring out my dick. <laughs> don't look... <laughs> See, no, that's a moment, uh... What he means by that... What he means by that is his play. Will that I help? play yeah. What About Dick? Yeah, right, right. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's obviously a play on words. Um, <laughs> or not. Actually, it's more foreplay on words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always nice when you're here, Eric. <laughs> I always feel that I'm not the smuttiest one in the room again. <laughs> Although we know you are. Right. <laughs> uh, listen, we have to do a commercial break. Do you fancy uh, having a go at, do uh, you know? Throwing to the commercial break? Yes, I, I'll be happy to do that. Oh, well, I know that, you know, a lot of the Python stuff was in the BBC. I don't know if you've ever tried it before. Oh, what, what do you, would you like me to do? Well, you know, just throw it. I thought I was going to play the harmonica. No, no, you'd have to do that later if you want oh, to try it for the later. Moment. Yeah, so we, what we, we have a commercial break in between do I, do I to try and so, get a better studio. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so something like, we'll be right back after this message. Sounds good to me. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tom <laughs> Derrick Idle, but not about anything you want to hear. <laughs> well, Eric, we're out of time. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as we're out of time, may I inquire mm. um, which you would prefer on the way out? Would you like a, an awkward pause? Mm -hmm. Would you like a mouth organ? Mm -hmm. Would you like to touch the horse as it runs by you? <laughs> this, is, this is a new one I've just invented right there. <laughs> I, I'd quite like a go with a mouth organ. Oh, right, okay. If that's okay. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. May I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me work up to it. I know okay, it's there. Okay, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to go rushing in and, you know, uh, just... Or I'll touch the horse's ass. I don't know. Oh, well, <laughs> well, maybe, well, let's see. You know, if you can play the mouth organ, you maybe. can win the golden mouth organ. Oh, you can? Uh, I think you know about this. <laughs> When Billy Connolly was here, Billy, he, John Billy John won the gold medal because he, he could play. Yeah. Can you play? A little. <laughs> well, let's just see if you've got enough of what it takes to win the... No, you have to take it out of the oh, box. Oh, sorry. Are you ready? Do you... Yeah, okay. Well... Guest, luckily enough, is a comedy hero of mine. <laughs> He's a comedy icon. His show, What About Dick, is available for the digital downloading starting November the 13th. Please welcome the lovely Eric Idle, everybody. Eric Idle.
afraid, uh, even although it's dark, it seems like the entire city of LA seems to be experiencing a... <laughs> I, I feel very at home. It's just like the Blitz. It, well, it kind of, it yeah, does have a I, kind of it's weird... For, um, it's for me, isn't it? You did this for me. Sure, yeah, we're trying to recreate home. that London 1944 <laughs> feel. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you could say, always look on the bright side. Really. Well, <laughs> you <did. laughs> You know what? I'm glad you're here. That's exactly what we shall do. Are you, are you all right? Are you, are, you, are you unnerved by this at all? Are you cold? Oh, I'm cold as steel. <laughs> Is that How right? Are you, dear? Are you all right? I'm very well. Yeah? What's, yeah. Uh, where's the, sh the What About Dick show? It's, uh, is, is it a radio show? Uh, no, it's a, it's a play we filmed. They are doing a 40s radio show. It's very silly. Right. I mean, it's got Eddie You Azard, surprise me. Billy Connolly, Russell Brand. Heard of them Tracy all. Tracy Ullman, yeah. all that lot. And we did it live in front of an audience downtown, four nights. And they, Electricity? They, did you have electricity? We had electricity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And candle power, just as a backup, we had. But it, it was, uh, it went very well. They laughed a lot. It's got music in it. It's really the decline and fall of the British Empire as seen through the eyes of a piano. <laughs> a I British it, piano or uh, a piano from yes. another country? Well, actually, the piano's from Shagistan. Shagistan, you yeah. say? Is that it's a new uh, country? Eh, uh, nearly. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Is it a, a country based on another country? Oh, it's a country very close to another real country. Ah, I see. Mm. So the pianos from Shagistan, do they have pianos in Shagistan? They do now, yes. Right, yeah. uh, Do you play the piano? Uh, no, I lost. Um, uh-huh. But... Uh, <laughs> <they> will... yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. They're just... It's not that they didn't get it, they're just scared. Because <laughs> of the dark? <laughs> this. Ah. Yeah. But actually, Eddie Izzard plays a character called Deepak Rushdi Obi Ben Kingsley. Nice. Uh, who's inventing a personal vibrator. I, can I ask so a question? It's is really there... about the decline of a certain bit of the physical anatomy that one cannot mention. Penis? I thought we could say... Ooh la la! Oh, uh, <laughs> well, we can. We can't say that, but we can say... See, Penis. Uh, Only if you're talking about the male part of the body. You, uh, can't, you can't make it a rude one. You can't say penis Nixon. Right, exactly. Can <laughs> <laughs> he say that? Oh, yeah, 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 you can, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter you, at this yeah. point. Oh, I don't you get huffy with me, girl. You bring some electricity, then we'll talk. <laughs> How about it? How yeah, about right, it? Yeah. No, uh, the, no, you can say penis. It's, it's, it's perfectly Thank you. fine. Yeah. Can I ask you about the personal vibrator thing, though? Yes. Do they make uh, vibrators that are not personal? That are just kind of like... That's a very good like, question. Like, like and a vibrator that's come one, come all sort of thing? <laughs> An impersonal vibrator. Right, yeah, a, a yes, sort of or, aloof vibrator. Or, or a mass one, really. You know, they could... Well, that's a washing machine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or it's a Catholic vibrator. <laughs> that you can't say. Mass. Vibrator. Ah, okay. <laughs> How are you otherwise? Have you been on tour? You've been over I, to Blighty or anything like that? I've been to Blighty. I was living in Provence for about three or four months. Oh, that Ooh. sounds nice. How are they in uh, the Provence in the south of France? That sounds nice. They have electricity there? No, they? actually, yeah. not often, no. Oh, they, no. they do have problems there. Yeah, they do. No, I had spent the first eight years when I had a house without electricity. So I'm quite used to it. Oh, this is kind of, like, nice for you, It's then. home for me. Right. <laughs> if I made sort of wind noises, it would sound like the Mistral. It would. Shall I make wind noises? No. <laughs> I can do them. Which, which end? <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the singing petome. <laughs> <laughs> and... And also with my mouth. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you lived in Provence for eight years? I had a house for 40 years there. 40 years? Yes. You, I thought you were only about 40 now. Well, I got it when I was nine. No, all right. <laughs> That's lovely. It is very nice. There's a lot of French people there, though. Doesn't that a alarm few, you? Not many. No, they're not very near. Do you keep them at bay? I do. <laughs> How do you do it? Garlic? I, I sing Scottish songs. <laughs> <laughs> I like a Scottish song. Do you have a guitar with you? I do, yes. Do you want to say, oh, sing us a song by Cam Campfire? All right. All right, good, sure. lovely. Do you have a, a guitar? Great guitar. Did, did you leave it there or is it over here? Oh, the girls oh, are bringing it. Tia and Lisa. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank this you very is, much. This is very now, nice. Um, thank, thank you, girls.
Thank you very much. All right. We, should, we should cuddle, it's dark. <laughs> this is a Scottish song. A Scottish song? So I brought a hat. Oh, I feel like I'm at home now. You see? It's nice. Nice? Yeah, it looks I thought you'd tell me what it was. It's a Tam O'Shanter. It is a Tam O'Shanter, isn't yes, it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I Does think. Mean... I don't know. Okay. All right. I've never been there. Shanter or Tam? Scotland. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall we go? Uh, I don't know it, but I'll join in if I... All right. All right. There's a good bit for you to join in. Okay, then. From the heel and hills and rills of oh, bonnie Scotland For the bogs and sogs and foggy mountain braes from the lonely locks where only jocks drink whiskey To the dingy pond wherein the lone trout plays Steady, steady. Right. There was once a lad he wandered wee his lassie When she told him that her love for him was dead As she left this lonely boy who now lost his only joy the trout raised his head, and this is what it said. Oh, rumpty tumpty tickle your monkey tickle de diddle do. A rumpty pumpy humpy dumpy tickle your diddle do. Thank you, thank you, winky, thank you, diddle diddle do. A rumpty dinky tickle your winky, winky, nacky do. The new, the new, the new, the new. Oh, the muckety, puckety, smackety, smackety, sings the lonely trout. Wiggly, 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 what is life about? A oh, mickety, trickety, wickety, wickety, she was just a slut. What? Find yourself another, that's a nicer piece of butt. Oh, muckety, 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 We're getting straight on to uh, my first guest tonight, legendary actor, writer, comedian. Uh, what else does he do? He's a legend. He's a he's legend. A legend. <laughs> and he smells great. He does. <laughs> I don't know if he's got a moustache at the moment. I think he's had one in the past. He has. He has. <laughs> he's got a DVD out. Oh. I know. Uh, Monty Python Live, mostly. <laughs> That's the name of it. That's the name it's of it. It's in stores yeah. today. Take a look at this. He'll get ideas above his station if you do that. <laughs> hey, um, nice moustache, Eric. Uh, thanks, I've been growing it to when as soon as I knew I was going to be on your show. <laughs> uh, that was this morning. Yeah. You, that's uh, and by the way, may I just say that of all the clips you could have chosen from the show, one of Michael Palin's singing was very nice. I thought, I, thought, I thought you'd like a bit of Michael. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, let me. Are you ready? Yeah. Ha, ah! Ah. ah! Ah! It's better with it on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You, you should have seen the girl I got it off. <laughs> I, uh, I think I may have. This is nice. Do you mind if I keep this? Uh, no, you could choose it. Oh, it's actually one of yours. Who oh, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> you can't go using a man's moustache without his permission. Really? How are you, my dear? I'm this, good. This is. Fine. I'm very excited about this. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> because I've got two percent of the gross. Oh, you do? No, 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 I'm not involved in this at all. Oh, good. Do you have some? I have a little piece. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, the. Uh, I also have some, some money in it too. Oh, oh you see. That was uh, a penis joke. Oh, yeah. Penis. But a very small one. Small penis joke. <laughs> That was a penis joke on top of a penis, penis joke. joke. That was two penis jokes touching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you look like a right shag nasty with you. I do you like it. I, do. I well, think I it makes me look a little even more creepy than I normally am. You look like a shag nasty. A shag nasty is yeah. right. I'm one of the Scottish shag nasties. <laughs> yeah. The um, this the concert at the O2 in London. Yes. The, the final Python performance. Mm. It's one of the reasons why I've stopped doing this show. Because you feel now it's time for you to retire. Yeah, I want to retire <laughs> and then in about 30 years have a reunion yeah. concert with a skeleton in London. I should say. It's very hard for you to get back together, isn't it, really? I've Is been you? trying yeah. for years. Yes, I, no, I, I thought, when I heard the, you know, the announcement that the Pythons were going to give a concert, and it was in London, and that was it, and I couldn't go because I was doing this. Right. And I thought, right, that's enough. I'm done. <laughs> oh. So you'll be able to say on my late, late, late show. Yes, yes, I can because it will be gone. It'll be gone. It will be an ex late, late. It will be, be pining for the fjords. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that makes me feel good. <laughs> so what's going on? You still uh, plucking away at your ukulele? I play my guitar. Yes, yeah. I do. Um, I write silly songs. Um, I'm going to be at Carnegie Hall in December. Are you? Are you oh, appearing yes, or seeing someone? Singing. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing Not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Oh, at Carnegie Hall, though. It's an oratory. Nice, yes. Yeah, 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 it yeah. is. Um, now, now, remember all the trouble that happened with Life of Brian and everyone got very angry at yes. you because they said it was sacrilegious. Is that all gone away now or are they still angry? They're very angry still a bit, but the thing is, if we do it in, in, uh, in the Carnegie Hall, we wear a white tie and tails, we do it as an oratorio. Right. Like it's... <laughs> we, that's how we do it. It's not handled. What have the Romans ever done for oh, us? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They, uh, they, they don't complain at all. It's very nice. It's a good way of doing it. Well, after a period of time, it's, it's a difference between, uh, you know, a dirt... There's no such thing as a dirty book. Right? That's what Alex Harvey said. No such thing as a dirty book. It's just the way you read it. Ah, there you are, you see? So it's not sacrilegious unless you've got that in your head. I see. I see your point. You're just being nice to me because <laughs> of the moustache, aren't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm being nice to you because it's our last time together. No. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is, children! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it is, huh? Yeah. How dare you bring the traditions of British pantomime into here? I will set my horse on you! <laughs> See what I did? Very See what clever. I did. Have you ever done pantomime in Britain? No. It's time, Eric. Um, it's time. Yeah. Really? <laughs> nah. nah <I> don't <laughs> Oh, it's the great Christmas tradition in Britain. That's, Wait, that's where I the horse here. comes from. Yeah, I like the pantomime horses. I love them all together. That was very nice. Was very oh, yes, in, the, in Scotland. The whole yeah. field of pantomime horses. Yeah, that was, that was the most money we ever we... spent on this show. <laughs> we used to have a pantomime Princess Margaret. That's right! <laughs> so you did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, yeah. She, she was very huge, and some man would wear her, and we sit her in the <laughs> and we, we sit her in the royal box when we did shows. It was really good, and she'd just wave. You know, it's really good. Yeah, you see, that's why you haven't, you're not Sir Eric because of that. That's what it is. Because <laughs> normally you'd be Sir by now. Well, it'll be Michael first, I think. Don't you think? Well, Especially look... after the clip. <laughs> I, don't, I think they probably sit down when they're, when they're deciding, say, shall we give the Pythons their knighthoods? I don't know, they did do that Princess Margaret giant wavy thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Michael wears a lot of ladies' clothes. All right then, well, get... I also did, I also done Charles's birthday parties and everything. So I sang for him. Have you got an OBE yet? That's what it is. No, it's nothing. OBE and... No, nothing. I've, got, I've got no BE. No BE? <laughs> yeah, no. No award or for... as we call Well, it. hang on, stay there, I'll get something for you. <laughs> Here's a plate. <laughs> Here's a lovely plate with Her Majesty the Queen on it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's got some tape on the back. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. There! There! Now you're talking! Thank you very much. It's a true honour.
It's an that honor. is, and that yeah. looks actually better than perhaps a knighthood would look. <laughs> There's no mistaking where you come from and who you like. <laughs> it's like a soccer rosette, isn't it? Well, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Do you still follow the football, the soccer? I do. Uh, my your friend Drew Carey takes me to Seattle. Oh, I go and yes. see the Sounders play. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's good fun. Yeah, that is good fun. Yeah. He never takes me to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> he takes me to Bob's Big Boy in the Valley. <laughs> That's it. I guess I'm not one of his special friends. <laughs> I'm his neighbour. Oh, that's right. Yes. You live very close to him. Very that's right. Close. I remember that. Because we used to, before we knew you, we would peek over his wall when he bought that fancy house. We're like, <laughs> Eric Idle's over there. <laughs> and now I'm on the tour. <laughs> Are you on the tour? No, not really. Oh, gosh, no, you don't want yeah, that. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, we have to take a commercial break. Okay. It's something, it's like the BBC, except different. I have been on the show before, Craig. Yes, I know. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying it for anyone who's still traumatised by my moustache. <laughs> we'll be right back with the great Eric Idle, everyone. I'm just signing this uh, commemorative plate of Her Majesty the Queen uh, <laughs> to my friend Eric. Now, the problem is, Eric, I would write across a, a nice message, but to deface Her Majesty... You mustn't do that. You mustn't do that. Um, um, that would get you the tower. It would. <laughs> Not faulty tower, either. Not faulty towers, no. <laughs> no, the scary one. Uh, let me ask you this. Given the fact that you're all, you all did the uh, concert, uh, are you friends? Are you friendly friends? You know, I've known them for 50 years. 50 years? 50 years. And so it's like we are brothers, you know. We're, when we're together, we love each other, and then we bicker and we argue. And, but it was very moving. It was very, it was very touching. Yeah, and it was, I can imagine. It was very it be. fortunate being all over 70 and doing the stuff again for the last time and it, and it was very it was very sweet you don't get to do that in show business so it, it was it was kind of good it was nice. no it's it's very it's very nice I, I i think it's really lovely and of course you must remember graham who wasn't there who was uh, uh still late unavailable yes. still unavailable yes. yeah uh, yes. i met him you know <laughs> and you survived yeah i met him in montreal do a, a just for laughs festival was he so sober then um he was i wasn't ah <laughs> So you learned a little. I uh, admired him greatly. <laughs> uh, and even more so that day, he was very nice to me. Uh, he was yeah, a lovely man. Terribly sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I'm sad that the Pythons will not get together again, or maybe in another 50 years. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 30 years. 30? 30 years, yeah, yeah, yeah. 31 years. 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 28. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have nowhere to go with this, you know. <laughs> but that's the essence of the whole thing, yes, isn't the it? The whole comedy. thing. Yes. The whole essence of this show was from a Monty Python sketch where they said, let's get to the punchline. And they, d they deconstructed the joke. That was the whole Dumbledore idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back in uh, eight months. And... <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? 